Hey there. So today we're going to talk about your shoulder. Now before I get to that, I want to introduce, this is Dr. Derek Gilliland. So everyone say, what's up? Drop a post, show him some love. He's our newest uh, team member and awesome stud doctor. Uh, so make sure you get to meet him in the office. Uh, but when we're talking about the shoulder joint, it is the most movable joint in your body and therefore is highly prone to injuries, to pain, and issues. So you have muscles, ligaments, and tendons that surround the shoulder joint, and in particular the muscles that help move the shoulder are made up of four different muscles and they combine to make what you probably heard is the rotator cuff. So different injuries can happen to the shoulder joint and we should be able to move our shoulder in full ranges up and down and across and then also um, abduction and adduction, uh, flexion, extension. And so assessing how the shoulder joint is moving is important. Now, a mistake that I see people make, both of us, is uh, when the shoulder just gets injured and it's in pain, people will just immobilize it and stop moving it. But the opposite is what's gonna actually help it to heal completely uh, and to get better faster, and that's motion through the shoulder joint. Because if you stop moving it, you can end up with bigger issues and even something like a frozen shoulder. So it's important though that you get your shoulder assessed properly and figure out what is actually the underlying root cause of the issue. Because I see shoulder joint um, misdiagnosed all the time where, oh, you know, it's a bursitis or tendonitis, and yet the person's been laying off and not using it for weeks, months, and it's not better. And so if that's you, if you've had chronic shoulder issues and you haven't been using it and it's been diagnosed as maybe a rotator cuff injury or a bursitis or a tendonitis, those type of issues, when left alone, should usually heal. Now, depending on the severity, that's not always the case, but if you allow it to rest, and you do some simple range of motion exercises, typically muscle issues or sprain strains, um, even some small tears should heal on their own. If you have a chronic issue going on, that points to a bigger problem, and that could be coming from a pinched nerve. So the, the upper back and neck are intricate, uh, intricately linked, I can't even say that word, um, to the shoulder. So if you have a problem here in the neck or upper back, that could be, in fact, the very thing that's causing your shoulder to have problems, to have pain and range of motion issues. So, give us a call. Let us assess you. Let us check your shoulder out and let you know, hey, is it a simple muscle ligament issue or is it a bigger problem like a pinched nerve that needs to be dealt with properly? So, Dr. Gillen, Dr. Ozan, we'll see you next time.